Hi, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. So I have been getting messages uh, based on some videos that I've been uploading on my Instagram of people asking what are sigils. So I decided to make this quick and uh, to the point video for you guys to understand. So as you guys, guys can see right here in the back, you guys can see a sigil. This is a sigil of the seven archangels. However, what are sigils? Sigils are symbols that carry intent and energy. Now, this has been used throughout centuries. Uh, this goes back to even medieval times. Uh, sigils are basically symbols, and symbols is something that we experience on everyday basis. For example, the dollar sign. It's something that uh, it is, you know, worldwide recognized as, you know, the S with the, um, with the lines going down as a symbol for money. And, um, as an example, the energy drink of monster, right? The, the, uh, the claws or whatnot, the three, uh, nails or claws that are going down or, you know, Starbucks, um, which by the way, uh, have a lot to say about that, but let's move on. Uh, those are symbols that are recognized worldwide that people recognize and know the brand or the company that it represents. But that's basically what, you know, symbols are. Symbols are something that represent, um, something that is recognized or that is understood to be for a specific thing. Uh, so what sigils are is sigils are symbols that carry a vibration that carry a intent behind it. Now, anyone uh, that is, whether you're in the practice or whether you're just learning about magic in general, uh, sigils are something that are very important, especially for us practitioners and those of us that uh, as an example, work with specific deities or specific uh, entities uh, or spirits, uh, sigils is something that we use on everyday basis. And again, think of a sigil as um, the best way of describing it is like a trace, an energetic trace. Uh, as an example, if I was to create my own sigil, um, which I do have and I use as a hidden cloak or a hidden sigil to keep myself hidden from, as an example, people that hire me to do spell work for them. And they don't want, you know, the other person finding out that there was work being done or, or where the work is coming from. We use cloaking sigils to protect our identity as well as to protect our client's identity so that there is no uh, being able to see even through scrying or even through uh, other divination tools to finding out who the person, where it's coming from, basically. So a sigil is exactly that. It's like an identity uh, based on the intent or the uh, entity or the deity or the spirit or the demon or the archangel that you're trying to communicate with, that you're trying to work with that you're trying to work in any aspect of the magic realm. So when we talk about magic, right? And, and I'm not just talking about, you know, spell work. We're talking about everything that is integrated in the witchcraft or, or magic. What is magic? Manage, uh, sorry, magic is uh, the transformation, transmutation, right? whether it's a situation, whether it's a circumstance that you're trying to change, that you're trying to manipulate, it, it's about alchemy. And alchemy, if you guys know about that, it's nothing but symbols and sigils. So it's the same thing, carrying a vibration, a very powerful vibration. As an example, for those of you guys that work with deities, you know your deities sigil. And that's how you communicate. That's how you uh, contact or connect, invoke or evoke those spirits, those deities. For those of you guys that know about demonology, you know that we cannot work with specific spirits or demons without the sigils. That's the way you communicate with them because that is their energetic 
um, connection. That's how you evoke. That's how you uh, evoke or invoke. Uh, that's how you communicate with them. That's how you work with them. And for in some situations, that's how you bind them. That's how you keep them from creating complete chaos and destruction in your life when you need their assistance. Um, and I'm just speaking about demonology, for example, but sigils are basically symbols that are connected. As you guys can see here in the background, this is the sigil for all seven archangels. You can see their names at the very top, what they represent. That is what sigils are. And sigils is a very important part of the practice. Like I said, this is not to do so much with like ordinary type of witchcraft. This is like major, powerful, strong type of, um, you know, uh, rituals and rites that take place as an example for bindings. Um, as an example, when you are needing the assistance of some type of spirit that is very powerful, um, you can only communicate with them or like I said, evoke them or invoke them through their sigils. Um, and again, there are sigils that uh, you can find a little bit more about this. If you guys are interested, I would highly encourage you guys to get into Solomonic magic. Um, uh, this is all to do and very integrated and connected with that. But however, my point to this is that sigils are extremely powerful. If you look at um, the elements, if you look into uh, the planets, they all have their specific sigils because they carry that vibration. They carry that power. They carry that intent or representation. Uh, it's like they're, like I said, it, think of it as an energetic trace. Um, so it is very important to implement in your witchcraft or in your practice, or if you don't practice as an example, but you're starting to get a little bit more into manifestations. Sigils can make it so easy for you to manifest or to draw in or to release certain things in your life that, you know, you want to work with or you want to embrace or you want to experience or release and no longer deal with. Um, sigils can make it so much easier because of that vibration that they carry. And as well, for those of you guys that are into the practice, finding your own sigils is also a very important important part of witchcraft. Why? It's like I said, it carries your energetic trace. And the more you work with sigils, the more you empower them, the, the more stronger and powerful they become to the point where you can cloak yourself so that people won't be able to see where work is coming from, or you can uh, protect yourself, protect your home, protect, you know, your business, as well as to draw in money or do rituals and spells that are much more powerful when it comes to drawing in more abundance or success or, you know, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to bring into your life experience. I am going to be making a little bit more videos about sigils as well as how to work with them. You can expect spell work that integrates sigils so that you guys can learn how to uh, maneuver with them and how to uh, use them to your advantage and how to see quicker results when doing spell work uh, using these sigils as well as teaching you guys videos on how to work with sigils and create your own sigils. I hope that this gives you a little bit of insight, a little bit more understanding of what sigils are, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.